right, we return to a story you first saw here on News Channel 9. Good evening, I'm Josh Rowe. This all started just over a week ago when families told us Wichman Monuments, a Chattanooga business, was taking their money and ending the communication right after that. That was on February 27th. I'm Kim Chapman. Thanks for joining us. We stuck with the story, and on March 1st, we learned that the Better Business Bureau had pulled Wichman's accreditation. On March 6th, News Channel 9 discovered Chattanooga Police was now investigating the monument company. All the while, new victims of their scheme came forward to News Channel 9 and banded together on social media. And today we now know that Wishman's Monument is now closing its doors. Stephanie Santasasi is live there now and shows us what is next for these grieving families. Stephanie. Kim and Josh, back in January, Vicki Versell came right here and ordered a headstone for her late husband. She says she paid for that order in full, but she never heard from anyone here ever again. It wasn't until after that News Channel 9 report that she realized she may have been ripped off. This is Vicki Furzell and her husband Donnie on their wedding day. He was a big cut up. A lot of fun to be around. The two had been married 30 years when Donnie's health started to decline. We found out he had cancer in November and five and a half weeks later he was gone. After nearly a month of grieving, Vicki came here to Wichman Monuments to purchase Donnie a headstone. I paid $2,900 in full. That was the last time she spoke with anyone here. She tried calling, emailing, but got nowhere until she saw our News Channel 9 report. Today, we gave Wichman's a call. The user's mailbox is not available at this time. I felt physically sick. She's since filed complaints with the BBB and Chattanooga Police. It's been a lot of sleepless nights. After countless days of us stopping by the business looking for answers for these grieving families. This morning, we finally heard from them, sort of. Wichman's newly hired lawyer, Terrence Jones, sent us this news release, stating the business was closing its doors. No offense, but I think we knew that. The letter goes on to say, in part, we will do our best to uphold our tradition of customer service as we resolve as many of the outstanding orders as is possible. On that statement, I'll have to see it to believe it. <laughs> now, Vicki just hopes she can give her husband the headstone he deserves. To me, this is a cancer in a human being to treat people that way. We asked Wichman and his lawyer for an on-camera interview today. They both declined and said the only comment they had was what they included in that news release. Reporting live tonight in Chattanooga, Stephanie Sanastasi, News Channel 9.